Today we will learn about networking concepts. In our daily life, we come across different types of networks. Let us understand this concept by some examples. Network of roads, railway lines, canals, etc. Communication network of telephone system which enable us to talk to anyone, anywhere, anytime. Network of banks or ATMs, automated teller machines. Radio or television network broadcast programs live across the globe. Video conferencing allows discussions between people at distant or far off places. Network of malls, schools, hospitals, etc. all over the country. Internet is an outcome of cyber networking. Imagine life without networking. No phone, no television, no internet, etc. Computer networks have extended the power of a computer beyond the expanse of a room. Let's know more. When two users have simultaneous conversation via internet, it is called conferencing. When this process is supplemented by live video, it is called video conferencing. Let's talk about networking. A computer network can be defined as a group of computers and other peripheral devices that are linked together for the purpose of sharing data and hardware resources. For example, if one of the computers in a network has a printer attached to it, then all the computers in that network can access the printer and use it to print the documents as shown in the following figure. Where computer A and B in a network can give the print command to the printer attached with computer C. The computers in a network can communicate with each other as well as work independently. Each computer in a network is called a node. The computers in a network can be linked through cables, telephone lines, radio waves or infrared light beams. Ok, now let me tell you advantages of networking. Networking in computers brings efficiency, economy and effectiveness in an organization. Efficient use of storage media. It is better to store a shareable application data on a network drive than to store a copy of the application on each user's storage device. It is better to have one big hard disk in the server than to have small hard disk in different computers. Preserving information It is difficult to maintain regular backups on a number of standalone computers. When you keep backups on a central location, you have one place to look for the lost information. Reduction in hardware cost In the network, the hardware devices that are not used very often, like modems, printers, scanners, CD writers, etc. can be shared. This reduces the cost of the hardware. Efficiency in a network, the deletion, modification or upgradation of the software or data is to be done at a single point only. This brings more efficiency and effectiveness into a working system. Redundancy A network reduces the need for hard copies of all documents. By sharing the soft copy of a file over the network, the need to share paper copies of reports or any other information can be eliminated or greatly reduced. Quickest Document Delivery Networking provides a facility to instantly deliver soft copies from one computer to the other computers throughout the world. Note the fact Bluetooth is a wireless technology used to interconnect mobile phones, computers, printers using short range of wireless connection. For more information visit www.bluetooth.com Let's talk about networking components. To establish wired networking in a group of computers, we require the additional components that are as follows. Network card. A network card is used to physically attach a computer to a network so that it can participate in network communication. Ethernet network card is most commonly used network card. Nowadays, most computer motherboards come with an inbuilt network card. Networking cable 
Modern Ethernet networks use twisted pair cable containing eight wires. These wires are arranged in a special order and an RJ45 connector. Similar in design, but bigger than the connector used with the telephone wire is scrimmed at both ends of the cable. Modem A modem enables you to connect your computer to the available internet connection over the existing telephone lines. It converts the digital signals of a computer into analog signals to enable their transmission via phone lines. At the destination, the receiving modem further converts the analog signal into digital signal so that the data can be understood at the receiving end. It comes as a separate part that can be installed on the PCI peripheral component interconnect slots found on the motherboard. Hubs and switches Network cards are used to send and receive data being transmitted over Ethernet cables. When a network has more than two computers, we cannot directly connect all the computers together. We need an interface through which the computers can be connected and the data can be sent and received. This function is performed by a hub or a switch. Hubs were the preferred medium in earlier times. But now, switches are used because of their better efficiency. A hub or switch performs the following functions. Acts as a central point of connection for all the computers on a network. Every computer plugs into the hub or switch. To arrange the ports in such a way so that if a PC transmits data, the data is sent over the other computer through its network card. Basically, the hub or switch is a box with a set of RJ45 ports. Each computer on a network is connected to the hub or switch via Ethernet cable. Know the fact. WAP, WAP, Wireless Access Point, is a device that connects wireless communication devices to form a wireless network. To establish wireless networking, we require the following components. Wireless network cards are used instead of normal network cards that are used in the wired networks. Most laptop computers come with the inbuilt wireless network cards. Radio signals are used for transferring data, therefore Ethernet cable is not required. Access points or routers instead of hubs or switches. These have a wireless antenna which increases the communication range of the radio signals. Access points can also be used to join a wired network, thus making the network a combination of wired as well as wireless network. Let me share an interesting fact with you. Wireless is a means of communication that uses low-powered radio waves to transmit data between devices. Wireless networking allows networks to be deployed without cabling. Spaces such as outdoor areas where cables cannot be laid can have wireless network. Just let me tell you that how many types of networks. Depending on the geographical area covered by a network, there are various types of computer networks used worldwide which are as follows. Personal Area Network PAN PAN is a computer network that is mainly created for an individual person. It is used for communication among devices such as laptops, mobile phones, PDA or smartphones. Personal area networks can either be wired or wireless. PAN generally covers a range of less than 10 meters, about 30 feet. You can use these networks to transfer files including emails, calendar appointments, digital photos and music. Local Area Network LAN in LAN, two or more computers and peripheral devices are connected within a small area, such as room, office building or a campus. In local area network, computer terminals are physically connected with wires. The data transmission speed is slow as compared to WAN. Since LAN is operated in a small area, it can be controlled and administered by a single person or an organization. Know the fact. Wi-Fi stands for Wireless Fidelity. It represents wireless local area network. 
It was developed for mobile computer devices like laptops, but is now used in PCs, video game consoles, smartphones, tablets to exchange data wirelessly over the computer networks. This technology enables the radio signals to go further, 300 feet approximately, with a faster rate of transmission. Metropolitan Area Network, MAM MAM is a larger network than LAM. It is spread across a city. Since it covers a city, it is called Metropolitan. The most common example of MAM type network is the cable television branches of a local bank in a city, etc. Wide Area Network, WAM This kind of network connects two or more computers located at distant places. They are linked by communication facilities like telecommunication or satellite signals. The most common example of WAN type network is telecom system. The usage of WAN is limited to very large organizations and government agencies. The main characteristics of WAN is that it requires a public telecommunication media to transfer data. The best examples of WAN are Internet and Intranet in a large multinational company ATM facility National and multinational bank customer services Let's know more. Intranet is a term which refers to a computer network restricted to an organization. Extranet refers to a computer network that allows controlled access to an information source available on Internet. Let's understand the networking architecture. Network architecture is an overall design of a computer network that describes how a computer network is configured and what strategies are being used. Computer networks mainly are of two types, which are as follows. Network architecture Client-Server Network, Peer-to-Peer -peer Network Client-Server Network It is a network where several computers called clients or workstations are connected to the main computer called the server. A server is a computer that provides services to clients and controls access to hardware, software and other resources. Clients are the computers which require services like data retrieval, storage, etc. from the server. Peer-to-peer -peer network Peer-to-peer -peer is a network where a few computers having equal capacity and capabilities are connected together to use the resources available on the network. In peer-to-peer -peer network, there is no central server. Instead, each computer can act as a server as well as a client. Let's discuss on network topologies. Network topology refers to the layout in which various components of a network like nodes, links, peripherals, etc. are connected and communicated with each other. Topology can either be physical or logical. Physical topology is the physical layout of nodes, workstations and cables in the network, whereas logical topology is the way information flows between different components. Network topologies are categorized into the following basic types. Point to point. Point to point topology is the simplest form of network structure in which two nodes are directly connected to each other. This type of network is most suitable for small areas where computers are in close proximity. This technology provides a faster and reliable connection. Bus topology. This topology uses single communication line or one main cable to which all nodes are directly connected. The main cable acts as a backbone for the network. It transmits data only in one direction. In this type of structure, one of the computers in the network acts as a computer server that provides data to all the clients. This topology is used in small networks where cable requirement is relatively small. One of the disadvantages of such types of network is that if the main cable fails, the entire network becomes unstable. For this reason, this type of topology is not used for large networks, such as those covering an entire building. Star Topology In star topology, each device is connected to a central computer using a point-to-point -point connection. The central server acts as a hub. Devices communicate across the network by passing data through this hub. 
Star topology is very popular because the startup cost is low. It is easy to add a new device to the network as only one cable is required and configuration is simple. Moreover, the network is robust. If any one connection in the network fails, the other connections remain intact. But if the central hub fails, the entire network goes down. Ring Topology In ring topology, all the nodes in the network are connected in a circular manner. Each node connects to exactly two other nodes, forming a single continuous pathway for signals. When one node sends message to the other node, which is not adjacent to it, data travels through all the intermediate nodes until it reaches its final destination. Ring topologies are used in both LAN and WAN setups. The main disadvantages of this topology is that if one workstation goes down, the entire network gets affected. Since data being transferred over the network has to pass through each workstation, this makes it slower than star topology. Tree topology Tree topology is one of the most common network setups that consists of a group of star-figured workstations connected to a linear bus backbone cable. In tree topology, one star network is connected to the other star networks. In a tree network, a cable failure in one of the star network will isolate only the workstation that is linked to the central computer of that star network, whereas all other workstations will continue to function normally. If a central computer goes down, the entire workstations connected to it will suffer either degraded performance or complete failure. But rest of the network will continue to function normally. In case the bus gets damaged, it causes disruption in the entire network. In the tree topology, expansion of network is possible and easy, but maintenance becomes difficult. Mesh topology In mesh network topology, each node is connected to every other node in the network. In this topology, every node not only sends its own signals, but also relays data from other nodes. This type of topology can handle a large volume of traffic. It is commonly used in wireless networks. In case if one of the component fails, there is always an alternative present so that the data transfer does not get affected. Even expansion and modifications can be done in this topology without affecting other nodes. Overall cost of this network is extremely high as compared to the other network topologies. Let's know more. Protocols are the certain sets of rules that determine how data should be transferred over networks, compressed, presented on the screen and so on. Let me explain you that how to access a file from a shared drive. To access a file from a shared drive, follow the given steps. Double click on the network icon on the desktop. The network window will appear, in which a list of shared drives are displayed in the details pane. Select the required shared drive to see its contents. Find the required file in the drive. If you want to open the file, double click on it. To copy the file, right click on it and select the copy option from the shortcut menu. In the view pane, select this PC icon to view the storage drives on your computer. Now click on the drive where you want to place the copied file. Right click anywhere on the details pane and select the paste option. The file will be copied to the selected drive on your computer. Let's talk about network security. Network security means protecting data and resources from any unauthorized access. It is the most important aspect in computer networking. Since many users are accessing the same data, so we must ensure its proper security. Only authorized persons can access or modify data. Consider the following points that may happen in any organization. Some employees may try to change the data concerning their leave records, salaries, performance appraisals, etc. Accidental deletion of important data. Former employees or some other people may try to harm the company's data. 
people outside the company may try to access confidential data. There are two general levels of network security. Login security. You are given a unique login name and password. Write security. Based upon your username, you are given rights like read-only access or read-write access or no access at all. A combination of rights can also be granted to the same user for different sets of data.